It's certainly not enough, but inflation is cooling. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start firing off comments like where and not where I live and the government is making this up, just take a breath and wait for me to explain to you what these numbers actually mean. According to the latest Consumer Price Index report released this morning, inflation between April and May of 2024 was 0%. That means it did not change. It stayed the same between April and May of this year. We haven't seen flat inflation like that month over month in like two years. This is the direction the Federal Reserve wants to see. Now, when you look at inflation on everything, not excluding anything year over year, inflation was up 3.3% between May of 2024 and May of 2023. Now, that is still well above the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%. So year over year, we're not going in the right direction. So what's keeping inflation so high? I'll give you a hint. It's something we all have to deal with every single day. And before I get into all those details, let me explain what these numbers mean. Just because inflation numbers are cooling does not necessarily mean prices are going down. It just means the rate in which prices are increasing is slowing down. Generally, if we see prices dropping, that is not a good indicator for the economy and could be signaling trouble ahead. And for those of you who say these numbers are made up by the government, first of all, they're not. But if you choose to believe that, fine. And even if you do, you still need to understand this report because it's one of the big ones the Fed is using to determine whether or not to raise your interest rates. Okay, now that we've got all that out of the way, let's talk about that big elephant in the room. What is keeping inflation so high? Well, it's several things, but one of the biggest is shelter. It is up for the fifth straight month and now sits at almost 5.5% higher than May of 2023. That is higher than the overall rate of inflation. Food at the grocery store remained flat between April and May of this year and increased only 1% between May of 2024 and May of 2023. The index for dairy and related products decreased about half a percent in May, led by a more than 1% decline in the index for milk. The index for fruits and vegetables were unchanged in May and meats, poultry, fish, and eggs increased slightly by less than half a percent in May. And yes, for those of you wondering, coffee was in this report. It was down 2.5% year over year and more than half a percent month over month. Gasoline was down more than 3.5% between April and May of this year, but it was up more than 2% year over year. It's also worth noting that motor vehicle insurance was up more than 20% year over year. Medical care was up more than 3% year over year. The index for used cars and trucks was down more than 9% year over year. So if you want to read this report for yourself, I will email it out to you tonight in my News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up. up.